It's officially spring, even though it doesn't feel like it outside. But what a perfect day to make my gardener's soap. I like to make this soap in the spring because it helps to clean really, really dirty hands after gardening. It's got pumice and fuller's earth in it. This year I wanted to make it a little bit cuter. So I'm using my soap dough to make cute little rain boot soap embeds to go right on the face of the soap. So I've got my soap dough to the color that I wanted it. I added some darker mica and a little bit of charcoal and I greased up my mold with a little bit of olive oil. If you're interested in learning more about soap dough, I do have a previous video that shows how I make my soap dough and how I use it in different molds. I would also love if you could subscribe and like this video just to help me get a little more YouTube famous. Just kidding, kind of. Okay, so here we go making the batter. Um, I've added my fragrance oil. I've gone with an apricot and peach and basil fragrance. I added in my Multani Midi or Fuller's Earth Clay, as well as some pumice to give it some really nice grit to clean those really dirty hands. And look at me getting all fancy with my pour. I didn't even spill any. Got to make sure everything's out of the container and in the mold. Don't want to waste anything. And fast forward, this is about 36 hours for this guy. I didn't want him to get um, too, too hard because I want the rain boots to stick. So I'm just cleaning up the loaf, getting all those sharp corners off, and then I'll chop it really quick. You can see it's still nice and soft, um, that it's like sticking to the knife, which is good. That's what I want. My soap dough rain boots have sat overnight to harden, so they've dried out nicely so that when I go to push them into the bar like this, they hold their shape and they don't um, get smushed. So I'll let them sit out again overnight to kind of dry out a little bit, and then I'll stamp gardener soap into them to kind of balance the design. What do you think?